And as we mentioned, it appears wind was largely to blame for that major power outage in Clay County. Clay Electric says it saw winds close to 40 miles per hour today at its Brickyard substation. That's on College Drive near Doctors Inlet Road. Channel 4's Chris Parento joining us live from Clay County. Chris, how are repairs going? They're still ongoing and they're going to be ongoing for a while, Joy. Crews have been here at the Brickyard substation throughout most of the day. They will be throughout most of the night. You can see still setting up, still trying to get a lot of work done. After that explosion earlier today in the circuit switcher, left ceramic pieces like this everywhere. Once that explosion happened and it knocked out power to so many customers in this area, many of the circuits with FPL also went out. When that happened, in total, about 23,000 customers were without power. Once the problem was found, Clay Electric began working to get these customers switched to other circuits. Most had their power back on by about 2 o'clock, including businesses in the area that had to turn customers away because they couldn't make transactions. One of those businesses is Yum, a southern market. The owner tells me that she had cakes in the oven when power went out. We sat and waited. The ovens, you know, kept the, I left the cakes and everything in the oven. I washed some dishes in the dark. But other than that, what else do you do? Are you just sit and wait. We do everything we can to maintain our system. Uh, occasionally something unusual will happen, and uh, we try to get them back on as fast as possible. Electric tells me that despite those low temperatures that are expected tonight with people on different circuits than they would normally be on and more people on fewer circuits using a lot of heat tonight, they don't anticipate any further problems. Live in Clay County, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.